What is up, my OC Metubians, and welcome back to From the Depths, where we are in the designer mode, and it has been an absolute age since I have uploaded something on From the Depths, or since I've done something, you know, pretty much for myself in the game, for the campaign, for the adventure run, which we still have to finish off, and I still have to finish off that massive build for the adventure run as well. Um, but yes, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be doing a time lapse build on a construct that I would hopefully like to use in the campaign. Um, so this is what we're going to be going, or this is what I'm going to be trying to make, is one of these lovely, lovely machines. Now, this is a USSR torpedo boat. I mean, you can probably see the little stars and the little flag there. This is in Photoshop, as you can tell. I've set up a grid here. I tried to set this grid up in such a way that, you know, I can see that this is sort of like a one meter slope. Then we have a two meter slope here, and so on, a three meter slope and then four and all of that good stuff and things. So that's how I'm planning this thing out. Now, I think I'm going a little bit too small. I think it's gonna be pretty crammed inside because as you can see, you know, there's only like, what, three, three, me three meters tall? I mean, that is really, really tight to, to do all of the stuff and things, but we do have all the weapons. They're going to be on the outside, and these are going to be large torpedoes. Um, I think I'm going to try to get these down as simple weapons. So that's that, and down here, you know, we have, like, I made these as four meter beams, which you will see why I've done this, you know, during the time lapse of this build. So hopefully, you know, it makes sense. So if you do like what you see today, please remember to smash that li like and subscribe button like they owe you money. It will definitely help me out to know that, you know, you want to see more of From the Depths, you want to see more builds, or just, you know, just want to see more stuff and things in general. There will be another upload coming out on this same build where we will be going over the internals. The internals, what I'm hoping to do is to make it um, go for surface constructs like ships and all of that good stuff to have it attack in one way. So we're going to be using one type of AI. And then if it's a submarine or if it's underwater, it's going to use a different sort of AI so we can utilize the mines on the back here. I don't know if you can see that properly, but over here we are going to be turning these into magnets with mines on them, or explosive I should say, um, magnets with explosives on them to make them into mines. So that does that. Hopefully, you know, we can we can sort that out. This will also be using uh, projectile avoidance as well. So that is why I'm going to be doing this on another upload. So hopefully you guys are going to be looking forward to that to see how I'm going to get it to work and to do the things that I want it to do. Anyway, that's enough blabber from me. Hopefully you guys enjoy. So let's just get on with it.
Um, I've done a couple of things different. I mean, the original construct itself, um, the torpedo boat, it doesn't come with um, <laughs> missile distraction systems tied on the end of a bit of a rope of a harpoon thing. So yeah, these two, you know, they're obviously additions from me to help us more in the campaign. So you know, there's going to be a couple of tweaks here and there that you know are not going to be exactly the same, but it's going to help us out in the campaign kind of thing. But we'll go over the technical bits and bobs in the next one. Just wanted to go over sort of like the changes um, aesthetically that are not really matching up. I mean, down here. Um, totally forgot to put that into metal. That should be metal. Hold on. Thank you very much. So yes, down here, um, changed from just the normal props and used the steamy, the steamy uh, multi-purpose serpent transmission motor. I know it's saying there's not enough room behind. It's only what is it like? It's just a few, a few percentage there. It's because of the slope over here, really. Um, we've got the same here as well. All the way through as well. We got these guys on the on the other side as well. Um, these ones down here. These ones are on spin blocks. They're going to be helping us out later on with the projectile avoidance. So that's going to be coming up in the next upload for sure because that is just going to have a lot of tweaking. There's going to be a lot of tweaking I have to do to get this working exactly how I want it to. Up here. Up here I'm really not too happy with this. I was actually trying out a munition warning system on a two axis. Um, and then covered it up with this thing. <laughs> um, the reason for that is, you know, sometimes you can get into a bit of a bend and you have a bit of a roll so that this won't be detecting any missiles that are becoming or crams that could be coming from the site here. Um, so you wouldn't try to avoid or to evade it. So yeah, that is why I try to put this on a two axis to hopefully get us more coverage of stuff. So hopefully we get less blind spots. Um, so yeah, got a little bit of detection and not that much. Really have hardly any detection at all. We've got an IR camera, this radar down here, and the wireless, the, the, uh, the, the, the this one over here. We have one of these wireless snoopers as well inside, and I believe we also have something around here, if I can remember. Yes, we have a laser rangefinder over here as well. So yes, that is pretty much, you know, aesthetically sort of done. Sort of done. Internally, I have to redo the whole thing. I'm not going to show you the internals because it's an absolute mess, absolute inefficient uh, use of space, that is for sure. Um, but you know, as long as I can get the components that I need, then I know how I can sort of like where I, what sort of space I need to rearrange them in the proper places. So yeah, um, I think that's pretty much it for this uh, for this build. Um, the torpedo system that we are using is this: we're using torpedo sonar fins, target protection, couple of explosives, couple of frags, ballast one turn, fuel tank, and all that good stuff and things. Um, settings down here let's do, here we go so yes the reason why I've got you know this uh, thrust per second is all the way maxed out pretty much um, I just I want these torpedoes to be fast I want them to get there these are large torpedoes so they're gonna be pretty damn slow I mean we do have 46 seconds worth of fuel and I don't think it's gonna take you know I don't think you really need much more than 46 seconds in the campaign for a campaign fight to be honest I know it does have an 80 seconds of lifetime, but yeah, I, it, that's a little, you know, a little bit too much. Um, we don't really need it, to be honest, um, all of that. So 45 seconds, yeah, that's pretty damn good. So we max out the speed there, which is pretty decent indeed. Uh, what else? I think that's pretty much it. And then we're going to get into the whole technical stuff of the AI and projectile avoidance and all that other breadboardy stuff and things. So there's going to be some breadboard involved in this as well. Anyways, uh, yes, I did have to do the upside down prop because, <laughs> I mean, it will work without it. It's just when it's supposed to stand still, then it will sink. <laughs> like that, as you can see there. <laughs> but yeah, actually we ran out of material, so there we go. <laughs> Good stuff indeed. Yeah. 
Well, anyways, like I said, now, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and, you know, if you have, please remember to smash that like and subscribe button, like they owe you money, lets me know that, you know, you want to see more, and it just, you know, um, motivates me to get more From the Depths content out there. So, for now, take care, and I'll catch you all on the next upload where we go into the whole technical bits and bobs and AI stuff.